The following video demonstrates the installation of an Ascend elevator panel system. The demonstration applies to horizontal panel installation. However, vertical panel installation will be covered briefly. This video is intended to be a supplement to our written installation instructions. Please download the instructions at improcorp.com backslash ascend. Begin by verifying that you have all the required components for installation. After confirming you have all materials, take measurements of the cab. Locate the edge and inside corner reveals. Transfer measurements onto the reveals and cut them to the appropriate length for the cap. You may smooth out the cut by flattening the edge with a hammer. Prep the components by removing the protective film. Dry fit the reveals, then remove the backing from the adhesive strips. Ensure the cut edge of the reveals are at the top of the cab. For the corner, press in with a non-taped edge, sliding inward to engage the tape. Install the reveals flush to the edge and corner, pressing firmly into place. Next, remove the film from the toe kick and position it flush against the wall. Make sure the toe kick is centered, then check the reveal spacing. Mark the front edge of the C-brackets from the back of the toe kick onto the wall. If the cab is dark, put tape down to transfer measurements. Take your number 8 flat undercut screws and Z-clip. Please note, screws may vary based on the cab substrate. Install the Z-clip onto the wall so the recess is flush with the center of the marked line. Slide the toe kick onto the Z-clip to engage. Measure to reconfirm the toe kick is center from side to side. Use the number 8 flat undercut screws to install the toe kick, securing the top edges. Check the clearance for panel clip installation. For areas with a tight clearance, back the screw out a half turn. Before beginning panel installation, lay all panels out on a protected surface. Refer to the layout guide from your installation instructions for panel locations based on the label on the back of each panel. Locate the reveal retainers. Align the reveal retainer to the edge and bottom of the first panel with screw holes facing in. Take measurements of the panel height and transfer them to the reveal retainer. At the top of the reveal, cut a 45 degree angle to allow for the handrail panel to properly sit if the system has one. This process will be repeated later for the freeze. Use the small number 6 screws to install reveal retainers onto the back of the panels. Repeat this process for both sides of the wall. Using the supplied suction cup handles, place the panel on the wall, sliding downward to engage panel clips with the toe kick. In some cases, a rubber mallet may be used to fully engage the clip. Secure the clips with washer head screws, using one screw per clip. For vertical panel installation, install reveal retainers on the outside edge of each outside panel. Position the bottom left panel first, ensuring the left edge aligns with the edge of the toe kick. Secure clips on all sides. Install double-sided tape to the center of each vertical clip. Apply the single-sided black foam tape between clips. Dry fit the reveal before applying it to the tape. 
For the first row of panels, the bottom edge of the reveal should be flush to the bottom edge of the panel. Vertical reveals run slightly longer, which allows them to tuck behind intersecting components. Refer to figure 11A in your installation instructions. Continue placing panels, securing the bottom edge of the panel onto the toe kick. Press each panel flat against the wall and slide it to the left to secure the panel into the adjacent panel. Repeat the process until the wall is complete. Next, dry fit the handrail panel to the cab wall. Using pre-drilled holes, mark your hole locations onto the cab wall. Remove the handrail panel from the wall and drill out your marked hole locations. Using the supplied quarter inch screw anchors, insert the anchors into the drilled holes, securing the collar to the cab wall and snapping off the excess. Remove the handrail bracket spacers. With all wall anchors installed, set the handrail panel in place. Hand thread the bracket spacers using 4 inch bolts. Repeat this process for all spacers prior to tightening them to the cab wall. Ensure the spacers are snug against the handrail panel. Do not over tighten. Using the number 8 flat head undercut screw, Secure the top edge of the handrail panel and check the clearance with your panel clip. Next, measure from the notch in the handrail panel to the top of your cab and cut 6 inches short of your measurement on the reveal retainer. Using the number 6 screws, secure the reveal to the back of the panel for top and bottom hole locations. The retainer will be left long for the next panel levels. Ensure the edge of the reveal is against the edge of the panel. Repeat this process for both sides of the wall. Secure the panel to the top lip of the handrail panel. Verify the edge reveal is consistent as you work the panels up along the wall. Using your washer head screws, secure the clips to the wall using one screw per clip. Install double-sided foam tape to the center of each clip, leaving the protective coating on. Install the single-sided black foam tape from the large roll between each clip. Dry fit the panel reveal strip, then remove the protective coating from the tape. Set the bottom edge of the reveal into the clip at an angle, ensuring it sits down into the channel. Press into the tape. Ensure the top edge of the reveal sits under the lip of the channel in the clip. Continue the panel and reveal installation process until you reach the top panel. When placing panels over reveals, make sure the reveal sits behind the panel. Secure the reveal retainer as you work up the wall. Dry fit the top panel and mark along the top edge onto the reveal retainer. Use a reference line to cut a 45 degree notch in the reveal retainer to allow the freeze to set in place. Return the top panel to the wall and secure in place. Set the freeze in place and secure it to the cab wall with washer head screws to complete the installation. After completing the wall installation, place the handrail into the bracket spacers and tighten with set screws. This is the finished look for the horizontal panel system. Please contact us if further installation support is needed.